Almost six months ago now, I decided to purchase the display upgrade for the Framework 13. And since I've received it, it's just been sat in a drawer collecting dust. There's a few reasons as to why that is, which I actually want to spend some time talking about in this video. But, well, at the foundation of it all, it's time for a change. If you follow me on Twitter, or X, then you know that I'm a huge fan of this laptop, the Framework 13. In fact, I actually built about 90% of the Dreams of Code course website using it, and it was an absolute joy to work on. Personally, I really like working on the 13 or 14 inch form factor, at least when it comes to writing code. When it comes to video editing, I tend to prefer a larger screen, although unfortunately the Framework 13 just isn't that good when it comes to that specific use case. I'm hoping the new one that gets released later on this month is going to be perhaps a little better. In any case, despite how much I love this laptop, one thing you may have noticed if you follow along with my YouTube channel is I haven't done any dedicated videos on it. I've definitely showcased it in some of my B-roll, actually quite a lot of my B-roll, but I haven't done any reviews or even spoken about the laptop itself. The reason for this isn't due to a lack of desire. I've actually had a video idea in my backlog for almost a year now to talk about how the Framework 13 is perhaps the best Linux laptop I've ever used. As it turns out, this is actually the first video where I'm referencing the Framework 13 directly. And in this case, I'm kind of just using upgrading the screen as a bit of a metaphor. By the way, this ability to be able to upgrade the individual components is one of the reasons why I absolutely love this laptop. It's a really comforting feeling to know that I can upgrade all of the individual components and parts of this machine. It really makes me feel like the machine itself belongs to me. In any case, I'm going off on a bit of a tangent. As I mentioned, I haven't done any videos about the Framework 13, despite it being my favourite Linux laptop, and definitely in my top three when it comes to writing code. The reason for this is because of a problem I currently have when it comes to my content, in that all of the videos I had planned to talk about this laptop, including changing out the display, I'd actually been saving for my second channel, Dreams of Autonomy. If you're unaware, my second channel is kind of similar to this one. However, rather than talking about software development or coding specifically, it more talks about adjacent topics, such as open source software, self-hosting, Linux, dot files, and home labs. I started this channel at the beginning of 2024, and it's been really well received, rising to over 55,000 subscribers, having only produced 10 videos, each one, apart from two of them, hitting over 100,000 views each. In hindsight, I can understand why. Personally, I absolutely love the topics that that channel covers, and I think a lot of other people do as well. Therefore, it's been an absolute shame that I haven't done more videos covering those topics, even though I have fully intended to do so. Now, there's a number of different reasons as to why I haven't, but ultimately, it all comes down to the fact that my time is just stretched incredibly thin. Now, I am taking some steps in order to improve my time management issues. These include building out systems to improve my content creation workflow, as well as inspiration for how I can improve my quality without increasing the time it takes to create videos. In fact, I've actually been binge watching the channel with Marco which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. I really recommend watching his videos if you haven't already, but personally, I absolutely love that style of content, and I think he does it really well. So I want to take some inspiration from his videos and start taking some of the aspects I really like and applying them to my own content. By doing so, I think it can both elevate the quality of my own videos, whilst also broadening the type of content that I put out. Additionally, I've also been watching other creators that do videos in the style of cinematic vlogs, and have been trying to incorporate a lot of the style that they take in their videos into mine. 
which is why you've been seeing things like sliding shots appear in my videos. The next thing I'm planning is trying to figure out some way of being able to mount the camera to my car, but I'm not too sure how that would play. Uh, I think car coding is something that might be considered a little dangerous. In any case, through being inspired from both the videos that I've been watching, including Marco's, and out of a personal desire to just create more, I want to make some changes in order to make it easier for myself to be able to produce more content. However, in order to be able to do that, I need to be able to both build up systems, but also tear down some walls. These walls are anything that I would consider a hurdle to me being able to produce videos. And one of the biggest hurdles I currently have is segmenting my content into two buckets. One for dreams of autonomy, and the other for dreams of code. Therefore, I'm considering deprecating dreams of autonomy, and no longer putting out videos on that channel. Instead, moving all of the content that I had planned for it to dreams of code, the idea behind this is it would simplify my content creation workflow, as I could just put out the videos that I want to put out onto a single channel, rather than holding them back for a channel that I never post on. However, whilst I am leaning towards this decision, I still don't know if it's correct. There was a valid reason for me to decide to segment the two topics in order to ensure that different audiences would find a home at each place. However, that being said, I do think there is still a lot of crossover. And perhaps I've done my audience a disservice for not being able to binge watch all of the videos that I produce in a single place. However, with many things in life, you can never really know whether something was the right decision or not. Not until you at least try it. So I'm going to give it a go just to see how it turns out, and start producing some of the content I had saved for that channel onto this one dreams of code. In fact, that's actually what I'm doing with this video. As I mentioned, I actually had changing out the laptop display scheduled for a video on dreams of autonomy. And at the rate I was publishing on that channel, let's be honest, it probably wasn't going to happen. And I really wanted to use the display at some point this year. So we'll see how this video works out. But honestly, I can already feel a kind of weight being lifted off my shoulders. In any case, before I can start publishing more on this channel, the first thing I need to do is to get the rest of my Go CLI application course completed. By the way, a massive thank you to everyone who's purchased the course on early access. I really appreciate both your support and your feedback. Additionally, the final three modules that are coming out most likely in May are shaping up to be quite nice. In any case, once the course is complete, I'm going to be spending a bit of time improving my video production workflow. One thing I've set up recently is this sort of semi-permanent fixture, in order to make it quicker to just sit down and hit record without having to set everything up. In addition to the physical aspect of video production, I've also been working on building some systems in order to improve the more technical process. In fact, I have a couple of ideas for software projects that I'm currently working through. The really nice thing about this is that it gives me even more ideas for content, especially as I'm going to be using a language and framework that I'm not too familiar with. So there's going to be a lot more learning from my own end. I'm actually doing some interesting things with the data pipeline where I'm processing a lot of the files on my home network in order to save both VPS costs and to look at integrating some AI as well. In any case, that covers the main changes I'm thinking about when it comes to my content creation. And it just happens to coincide with the fact that I wanted to change my laptop screen as well. So I'm going to go ahead and use this laptop for a bit, actually to go ahead and change the payment provider that I chose for Dreams of Code, although that's a topic for another time. But either way, I'm going to save the review of this laptop and the upgraded display for another video, most likely coming to this channel. Before I move on, I just want to give a huge shout out to all of my recent channel members. Thank you for supporting the channel and allowing me to bring my content to hundreds of thousands of people around the world.